if you just look at the, the All England, prior to, what was it, 1977, it was deemed the unofficial World Championships. Um, and it wasn't until then that the International Federation then created the World Championships. So all the way up to that point, it was the tournament to win. Right. So it's always been the one that every single nation will peak for, all the best players will come to. So I think that built up over time um, has cemented its, its place, that regardless of what else gets created, uh, World Championships, World Tour Finals, the Olympics, this has its place. I was in Asia um, a couple of weeks ago and I'm sitting down with an agency and the way that they talk about the event is there's so much passion. He said, I've, I've grown up since a youngster watching this event, right? watching this tournament, it's part of my life. They don't talk about that with their own domestic badminton tournaments or anything else across Europe. And that's why I felt that we need to be telling the story more and better. I'm Nathan Robertson, the last British winner of the Onyx All England and now National Badminton Coach. The All England is such a special event because it's the pinnacle of the BWF World Tour. It's the Wimbledon to tennis, as in what this is to badminton. Coronavirus, it's out there. It's going to hit our sport hard. I just hope we get to the end of the All England on Sunday and then I think we're going into shutdown mode. I came first of all as a spectator about 13 years ago and while I was spectating I saw a friend who was a volunteer he introduced me to the volunteering and I've been volunteering really ever since there are about 250 to 300 volunteers involved in the All England it's a great feeling to be down here to see the players up close. It's an honour and a privilege to become a title sponsor of this such a great tournament. Our relationship started from 1984 and that's part of the, um, our founder chairman's um, almost like dream to become a title sponsor since then and uh, All England is also a um, very important uh, business opportunity in a way. So that um, I watch it on the monitor, even though I'm at the venue. I just don't have the time to actually go to the uh, seats and watch the game. I mostly spend my time with my customers and my colleagues and all of that, so. Oh, <laughs> 然後以前都很向往來到這個比賽,所以會很珍惜。Nice. Well, of course, it would be a dream coming true as well. You know, um, All England is one of those tournaments uh, which you really want to, you know, win. And um, for me, also, it's as I said, a big dream. It's on the list. You know, there is a few things. You know, Thomas Cup, which uh, which we won, and then the World Champs, uh, All England, and of course the Olympics as you know a yeah, really really big goal. I've been working at the All England now since 1994 when it first came to Birmingham so that makes this my 27th year stringing at the All England. This week we would expect to do between four to five hundred. Players will arrive from tournaments or from training camps um, either with strings broken or rackets that have lost their tension 
So we get inundated with rackets the first couple of days and then we spend the rest of the week trying to catch up, essentially. When you start out, it'll probably take you an hour, hour and a half to do a racket. We reckon probably about 20 minutes on the machine, two and a half an hour over a course of a day, and you're doing pretty well. I'm a YouTuber and you can call me a social media influencer, but at the end of the day, I'm just another massive badminton fan that loves badminton so much and just want to promote badminton to more people across the world. In 2016, when I tried to buy a racket, I saw there was actually no reviews at all online. So I bought the Jiro 10 and then I made a YouTube video on it. And surprisingly, it got 50K views. So from then on, I just felt like I should just continue making some videos for fun. So currently I have about 34,000 subscribers on YouTube and I have about 15,000 followers on Instagram. It's not like massive, but I'm just surprised that I even have a following considering I just started this like in my bedroom as a hobby just making some videos about the Jura 10. You know I've been waiting to win this and uh, my latest was I lost in the semi-finals but I think um, yes this time I hope and I wish that I do well. When you're in the limelight and when you're in the top, I think uh, these will be always there and the responsibilities in you know, media and a lot of obligations will always be there. But I think uh, I really enjoyed it. I never felt uh, tiring. You know, when I was really young and I would look up to the superstars and a lot of people giving autographs and photographs and interviews. And then I used to think that, you know, okay, one day I want to be there. And when I'm finally there, I think um, it's time to enjoy and I do really enjoy it. This is one of the greatest tournament in badminton, the world's tournament. So every parent wants their uh, children who participate here to win this prestigious uh, tournament. And uh, I'm glad that I'm accompanying her for the past uh, three, four years. Is it nervous watching her? Do you get nervous? No, because I being a sportsman, so I don't feel so. But uh, as I know about the game, I give her some tips during uh, her practice sessions and uh, uh, of course an encouragement during the match. Yeah, the All England is the one of the oldest tournament, and it's so prestigious for us. Yeah, no, we just praying, and then we play. That's usually like that. You know, we've had we've had lots of government advice telling us what we could do and, and what we have to do or what we should be doing. You can see the the number of corona cases um, escalating. Um, and and we've that that of course becomes a concern and you just think at any point could government just pull the plug and say there's no large gatherings no sporting events going to going to be taking place this is this has been relentless because it's it's just such a fast moving environment isn't it and the advice that we've been trying to get and the advice that we've been taking um, has affected some of our thinking and it's influenced some of our thinking and it's made us think again at times. But you know, when you when you get here and you, you kind of see what we're about to witness over the course of this week, I'm really glad that we've been able to get this on. It's been it's been a nervous few weeks for us. A bit of relief actually if I'm honest.